So we have finished right triangle trig there. That was something quick and easy to throw back in there. But here's the next thing. This next part that this with all sines and log cosines does not deal with right triangles at all. It deals with obtuse triangles, acute triangles, but it does never, or um, equilateral triangles, but it never deals with a right triangle from this point forward. So if you get that, then most likely something is wrong there. Okay, so this next part again does not deal with right triangles. So you can't use Sakatoa for the next part. You have to use the law of sines and law of cosines. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at the law of sine. And yes, it's a lot to write down. Yes, oh my gosh, it's a lot. But I want you to go ahead and write it down. So if you need to stop the video and write it down, then continue the video, do that. But I'm going to keep going. So here, we're going to, the law of cosine, uh, sorry, law of sines, <laughs> It's used in certain situations. So you don't use this all the time. There's certain situations that it happens. So you use the, um, use the law of sines for triangles that are other than right triangles, so like we just said up top, to find a side or an angle. The best, this is best used when you have, and let me highlight these parts because you might want to do highlight yourself also, but this is the important part that you need to know. So when you have two angles in the side, or you have a side and an angle of the same letter. So let's, let's say this one more time. So when you have two angles on the side, so any two angles on the side, or if you have a side and an angle of the same letter and a different side. So in other, in other words, again, they're going to give you two sides, but for this part, the part in green, that means you're going to have like a side A and an angle A, and then like a side B or something of that sort. So you're going to have the same letter for the side and the angle, and then have a different side just randomly given to you. That's when it comes to law of sines. Those are the two times that you really will definitely use this. And we're going to go ahead and look at video, um, um, examples, one with the two angles and a side, and one with the, the, um, the, a side and an angle with the same letter and a different side. But here, um, I don't think I gave you the law of signs yet. So let me go ahead and give you the law of signs. That's the part that's missing right here. I don't know what happened. So here, let's go ahead and do law of signs. Now, depending on what book you're dealing with or what you're, what you're looking at, the formula can be look, look different. But again, the formula is going to be given to you on the final exam on that formula sheet. So underneath the arithmetic sequence of series and geometric sequence of series, Underneath that, it's a law of sides and law of cosines. So again, it's given to you on the final exam on that formula sheet. And here's the formulas. Each one of these, it is sine of the angle over the side equals sine of the angle over that same side over sine of the angle over the side. So the A stay together, the B stay together, and the C stay together. So sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. And with this, whenever you do the law of sines here, you're only dealing with two fractions at a time. You're only dealing with two fractions at a time. So that means here that you're not going to be dealing with all three of them at the same time. You'll be dealing with A and B, or B and C, or A and C. But you never deal with them all at the same time. So only two at a time. Now with that, again, that formula is going to be given to you on the final exam. So um, when we get to our word problems, that's where the biggest part is going to happen here, that you need to know how to do these things. So with that, this part here, I'm getting ready to go back over with you, is from geometry. So hopefully you remember that from, you remember your geomet geometric um, information, or you did math too. Um, so a reminder here that whenever we talk about, um, when it comes to triangles, whenever we're talking about a capital letter, that's an angle. Whenever we do with a lowercase letter, that's a side. So again, capital letter is an angle, lowercase letter is a side. So 
Yep, capital letter is the angle, lowercase letter is the side. That's very important to know that because if you don't get that part, all the stuff is going to get really confusing. Okay, so here's what we're talking about. And let me go ahead and pull this down. And let me pull this off to the side too. Now, here's the triangle. And when it comes to the triangles that we're going to deal with, it's never like set up for you. You have to set up your own triangle. And with that, the thing you have to remember is, however you set up your triangle, ABC, the side across from those angles have to match up. So here's A, here's B, and here's C. The side across from angle A is side A. The angle, a side across from angle A is side A. The angle across from angle B is side B. So this is angle B, this is side B. Angle B, side B. Angle C, side C. It's always across from it. So let's just write that down too. So angle A, whenever you make a triangle, is always across from side A. Angle B is always across from side B. And angle C is always across from side C. Because when you do this, if you have things all over the place in the wrong spots, you're going to say side A is this, but it might be side B. And then everything just all willy-nilly and messed up and everything. And you did all this work for nothing because you just put it in the wrong spot. So you have to attend to precision. So you have to make sure you have everything in the right spot. If not, you're going to get the whole thing wrong. So you must have things in the right spot. Okay, so that's not bad, I don't think. And again, here's the law of sines again. And again, that just repeating what I said earlier. When dealing with the law of sines, we only have two fractions. So this part here from the law of sines and down, you don't have to write again unless you want to. You don't have to write it down unless you want to. All right, and so here's what I was talking about earlier when I said you only do it with two fractions at a time. And I, if you look at it, I flipped it. Because some books actually flip it where they have the side on top and the angle on the bottom. But it doesn't really matter. It's still the same fraction. So it doesn't matter whether you use the, the, these up here or to use these down here. It doesn't matter. They're the same thing. So don't get confused. And hopefully you are listening to this and not just watching it. Because listening is important. So here, again, you're only using two, two um, fractions at a time. So don't try to use all three of them because you won't, it won't make sense to you. And it won't work out. All right, so that is all the preliminary information for the law of sines, the, coast, the, um, the formula and everything. All right, so let's now go into an example.